correct geometry and incorrect colouring. Quite simple to fix. So first up I'm going to isolate this area just to make my life a bit easier. Let's do this bit as well. So I'm left clicking to create the polygon shape and right click to finish. Select the area, go to the layers tab and press new layer and then you can either say move points to layer here or right click and move selected to layer. I'm going to use this button to say enter single layer mode or toggle layer visibility mode. Is good. Uh, now I can work with this piece of data and clean it as I want. I'm just going to expand the paint area a bit first so we can see all of the options in there. Um, and I'm going to use the constraints. Um, so we had a very strong red colour in here, we could pull that out quite easily just by selecting red and saying I want to select all the red stuff. Okay, but there's nothing that matches that. I thought those might be selected. So I'm going to use a colour picker. Say so I want to pick any of the black. Uh, and you can see there with the tolerance turned up. It's selected most of that information. Actually, the shadow has been left behind, but I can um, again take a pick on there. It's selected a little bit too much. That's okay. Uh, we can work with that. So we'll make another new layer. And pop those points on there. Now I might actually um, just remove these ones. We could do it like this. And uh, put those back onto there. Okay, so all the good colour we've we kept. A little bit of shadow. Uh, you know we could we could manually pull that out. Constraint, do that again. Okay, so I can add those to my selection now. Just do right click. So if we want to recolor all of these points, I can um, I can do it while while looking at the, the other two, or just simply lock them, and I can only affect what's there. Um, and then we could do um, from the paint menu. Um, again, we need to pick a color. So I'm going to pick one of these colors. I'm going to pick the ball brush. I'm going to make it quite transparent. So this slider bar here is transparency. So bring this down to sort of 25, something like that. And then when you when you add color. It's just doing it gradually. You can see that building up and building up. So I've probably gone a bit over the top there. Let's remove some of those. So the stack allows you to undo an operation. And you can you can pick an operation from any point. So it's not just an undo because it, it would allow me to, to undo any of the objects in any order. Let's undo a lot of them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do drop the tool. So I'll make sure when I color pick. It's a little bit of a bug. If you if you have a tool picked and then you do a color pick, it will jump back into the previous tool. Um, so let's pick a pick a color close by. Always keep it keep watching on the left hand side what's happening. Um, and then we're going to take the brush. Do a little bit of delicate painting there. 
and change the brush size. If you hold down the middle button, you can alter the brush size. I can't remember exactly what is in that layer. You can apply a little bit of colour to the whole thing. A little bit yellow, so I'm going to pick a, a yellower color. Hopefully, you can find something in there. And you, and you could make your own color. I'm going to add some of that on top. So, being transparent is not completely overriding what's going on. Hopefully that shows you how to remove shadows. Uh